Hey guys, this is Stephen Howard. I'm out on the water. I'm um, risking my phone, which is kind of scary, but I'm a good paddler. Uh, it's flat water, but there are currents, boils, uh, eddies, all of the characteristics of an active river system. Right now I'm going across about six inches of rock, uh, six inches deep. It's rocky. Uh, we don't have enough water, you know, even for Montana, the rivers are rather low for this time of year. Uh, good for paddling, but bad for the environment. Um, we could definitely use more rain and snowpack uh, than we got this year. Even though they're saying in some areas it's record, I think it's colder temperatures and the higher elevations or snow in the mountains behind me. And uh, I think that it hasn't melted yet. So we might have a flood event uh, coming at some time. I wanted to show you uh, what an off-grid cabin by the river looks like. Uh, this is a nice off-grid cabin. On the other side of the property is the highway and uh, it's all gated and fenced off for deer fencing. Um, I don't know if you can see that back up here I'm still dealing with the water current and everything there's the off-grid cabin it's real simple wood stove log cabin uh, one or two rooms possibly an a-frame little deck out front with some rocking chairs and uh, pretty simple and keep the property as pristine as possible. You know, it's it's beautiful here. Uh, I just saw a bald eagle a little while ago, and I I just see some amazing things. I I had too much current, but I went around a corner and there's an old car, like a '30s car, stuck in the bank of the river. So there was old abandoned vehicles out here. I guess they washed down in a flood event and washed into the bank, but there were several of them. Uh, I'm on the Bitterroot River just south, excuse me, just north of Florence. Uh, this river is unusual. It flows from south to north. So uh, it's one of the more unusual river systems. Uh, there's a tree down in the river. You always got to watch out. If a tree is all the way across the river, you have to get out and walk around. Uh, Billy Huckle will tell you about that. But uh, I'm really excited to be back out on the water. I miss you, Bill. I wish you were out here with me. And uh, I, I do uh, look forward to having some friends and family out here. I'd also like to uh, get a whitewater raft so I can take people on rafting tours that aren't able to kayak by themselves. So they can they can see it and you know have a nice sandwich on the raft and hang out and enjoy the day. I mean, it's hard to get more beautiful than a river in Montana. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you get out in your local areas and keep them clean. And just really, really enjoy yourself. I mean, uh, the world is a magical place, even though it seems so small and uh, so much stress and things. Uh, this is an excellent way to relieve all your stress and just get grounded and realize that there's more to life. Uh, by the way, I've been having vehicle problems. Uh, I'm hoping to get a tune up soon. And dealing with that has been an issue this weekend. Damn you, Mercury Retrograde. Uh, yeah, we're in Mercury Retrograde again. And uh, it might be time to kind of back off, take a little break. Um, you know, uh, everybody needs a break, including your vehicle. Make sure you get it serviced. Hopefully there's no problems with my phone. And beautiful mountains out there. I don't know if you can see that in the distance. And the old barn with the elk horns. But what a gorgeous day. I really lucked out on the weather. It was snowing yesterday and raining. 
So today is a beautiful, beautiful day. Ponderosa pines out there. And then the cottonwoods on the other side. And I am cruising. It's hard to get a, a, a rhythm of it, but I'm actually traveling at about four miles per hour right now. I'm sideways and I'm just going down the river cruising, kind of letting the current take me wherever it wants to. Anyway, guys, I'll put my phone away soon. And uh, I love everybody. You know, um, it's important you to show gratitude, you know, every day for, for what you have, what you're able to do still. And uh, yeah. So we need more of that. We need more gratitude. We need more acknowledgement that uh, we're doing a good job. What an awesome place to live. The, the barn there, he's got his raft and his canoe, kayaks, a couple snow machines for the winter time. It's a beautiful acreage up there. There's still acreage available here in Montana. And before everybody builds everything out and everything gets so outrageous that you can't even afford to live here, I would definitely like to buy a piece of land Start a little company, teaching people how to kayak and paddleboard and raft, and uh, just enjoying the river. And then in the winter time, teaching them how to snow machine and do everything. Uh, a little bit of glamping, a little bit of hospitality, and some great food. So there is a large predatory bird. I don't know if you can see him up there. That dark spot up in the tree. I don't think it's a bald eagle, but it's either a large hawk or a golden eagle. I wish I could zoom in for you. But yeah, he's there. Checking me out. I've been down this section of river before. And as I recall, there's a fork up here. And it's really important that you choose what fork because one of the forks goes out into irrigation ditches into a farmer's land. <laughs> so that retaining wall also has a big uh, predatory bird on it. I think maybe an owl. And that one right there is a golden eagle. I just love it out here on the river. It's so peaceful. Uh, I'm on a solo mission today. And I'm going to do about 14 miles. Uh, I'm about two miles in right now. So we'll have a, an island stop, maybe a little fire. I don't know. And uh, figure out exactly what this run's all about. I haven't been down here in three years, so... I'm excited to see what lies ahead.